Welcome to an enchanting journey through Versailles. Nestled just southwest of Paris, this city bears witness to France's regal history. Once a humble village, Versailles was transformed into a grand city under the reign of Louis XIV, the Sun King. It became the heart of an absolute monarchy, where the power of the king was unchallenged and divine. Today, Versailles hums with stories of the past, its every corner echoing with the footsteps of the royalty who once called it home. Its grandeur is not just confined to the walls of the magnificent palace. It spills over into the mesmerizing gardens, the charming streets, and the vibrant city life. Each element weaves into the other, creating a tapestry of history, culture, and artistry that is as intricate as it is compelling. Join me as we unravel the opulence of the palace, explore the mesmerizing gardens, and wander the charming streets. Versailles, transformed by Louis XIV into a symbol of monarchy, boasts the magnificent Palace of Versailles. A testament to the Sun King's vision, this sprawling chateau stands as an emblem of absolute monarchy, its architectural grandeur echoing the era's opulence. Within the palace, one cannot help but be awestruck by the Hall of Mirrors. This grand gallery, stretching over 73 meters, is bedecked with over 350 mirrors, reflecting the verdant beauty of the gardens outside. As the sunlight streams in, the hall sparkles and shimmers, creating an illusion of endless light and space. This hall has been a silent witness to numerous historical events, from royal balls and banquets to the signing of the Treaty of Versailles, marking the end of the First World War. Each reflection in the mirror tells a tale of power, prestige, and pageantry that shaped the course of history. Venture deeper into the palace and you'll discover a labyrinth of lavishly decorated rooms. The King's State Apartment, a suite of seven salons each dedicated to a different classical deity, dazzles with its gilded moldings and monumental ceiling paintings. The Queen's Apartments, on the other hand, exude a more intimate charm, offering a peek into the private lives of the queens who once resided here. The palace's grand scale and exquisite details, from the glistening chandeliers to the intricate marquetry, are a testament to the skill and craftsmanship of the era. Each room is a treasure trove of art and history, bearing the imprint of the monarchs who once graced these halls. The Palace of Versailles is more than just a building, it's a symbol of an era, a monument to the glory of France's monarchy. It stands as a testament to the grand vision of its creators, a vision of power and beauty that continues to captivate visitors from around the world. The intricately adorned rooms whisper tales of past royalty, evoking a sense of awe. As we move through these halls, we are not just exploring a palace, we are stepping back in time, immersing ourselves in the grandeur and majesty of a bygone era. Exiting the palace leads us to sprawling gardens stretching across 800 hectares, a testament to the genius of André Le Nôtre, the principal gardener of King Louis XIV. These gardens take us back to the 17th century, an era of lavish beauty and meticulous design. The gardens of Versailles are a wonder to behold, a grand tapestry woven with nature's finest threads. Here, the artistry of landscape design meets the opulence of royal aesthetics. Imagine strolling through the meticulously crafted parterres, their geometric patterns of flower beds a feast for the eyes. Each one is a symphony of color, texture, and scent, creating a vibrant tableau that changes with the seasons. As we delve deeper into the garden, we encounter an orchestra of fountains. Over 50 in number, these aquatic marvels are more than decorative elements. They are storytellers, their intricate sculptures narrating myths and legends through water and stone. The grandest of them all, the Fountain of Apollo, depicts the sun god driving his chariot to light the sky, a fitting tribute to the sun king himself, Louis XIV. Then there are the groves, secluded intimate spaces hidden from the main paths. These secret gardens, protected by walls of greenery, offer a tranquil respite from the grandeur of the palace. Here one can sit on a secluded bench, listen to the rustle of leaves, and let the garden's serenity wash over them. The piece de resistance of the garden, however, must be the Grand Canal. This vast body of water over a mile long stretches out in a perfect line, mirroring the sky above. Here visitors have the chance to row a boat, floating peacefully along the water's surface watching the palace shrink into the distance. This unique perspective offers a sense of the garden's vastness, a feeling of being adrift in a sea of green under the watchful eye of the palace. 
Venture through hidden groves and perhaps row a boat along the Grand Canal for a unique perspective. This is the magic of the Gardens of Versailles, a place where nature and royal grandeur intertwine, creating a landscape of unforgettable beauty. Beyond lies the Trianon Estate housing the Grand Trianon, an elegant retreat adorned with pink marble, a haven for Louis XIV away from the palace's pomp. Built in the late 17th century, this exquisite structure was Louis XIV's escape from the rigorous formality of court life. With its beautiful peristyle overlooking the gardens, the Grand Trianon exudes an air of tranquility and refinement. Within the estate, you'll also find a multitude of botanical marvels. The French gardens, meticulously manicured, are a testament to the Sun King's love for order and symmetry. Meanwhile, the English gardens, with their meandering paths and informal layout, offer a delightful contrast. But the Trianon estate isn't just about the Sun King. Venture further and you'll stumble upon the Petit Trianon, a smaller chateau gifted by Louis XV to his favorite, Madame de Pompadour. However, it was Marie Antoinette, Louis XVI's queen, who left her indelible mark here. Seeking a retreat from the relentless scrutiny of court life, she transformed the Petit Trianon into her personal sanctuary. Here, she could indulge her love for the simple pleasures of country living, far from the rigid etiquette of the royal court. Nearby stands the Petit Trianon, intimate and charming, once Marie Antoinette's private refuge, offering a glimpse into her personal world. This place, with its relaxed elegance and intimate scale, paints a picture of a queen who yearned for privacy and simplicity amidst the overwhelming grandeur of Versailles. Leaving the estate, the city of Versailles beckons. The heart of this historical city pulses with life, echoing the grandeur of its past while embracing the vibrancy of the present. The city center, a harmonious blend of history and modernity, is a charming labyrinth of picturesque streets. As we wander, we're greeted by the warm aroma of freshly baked goods wafting from quaint cafes. Their window displays a tempting array of French pastries. Boutique shops line the narrow cobblestone lanes, offering a treasure trove of unique finds, from artisanal crafts to vintage books. Each storefront is a testament to the city's thriving local businesses, their offerings as diverse and captivating as Versailles itself. But perhaps the city's most vibrant pulse can be found at its local market. Here, merchants offer a cornucopia of fresh produce, artisanal cheeses, and delectable pastries. The market is a delightful assault on the senses, the vivid colors of the fruits and vegetables, the distinct aroma of fresh herbs, the soft murmur of bargaining voices. It's here that one truly feels the heartbeat of Versailles. As the day winds down, local eateries beckon. These cozy establishments with their inviting ambiance and sumptuous menus are the perfect places to sample authentic French cuisine. From the classic croissant to the iconic coque au vin, every dish is a culinary journey. Take a leisurely stroll, immerse in the city's charm, and relish authentic French cuisine at the cozy eateries. No visit is complete without witnessing the musical fountain show or the grand fireworks that breathe life into the gardens during summer. As the sun dips below the horizon, Versailles transforms into a magical tableau. The musical fountain show, a ballet of water and light, dances to the rhythm of classical symphonies. The Grand Canal becomes a stage for these mesmerizing displays, where fountains spring to life, choreographed to music and illuminated under the night sky. In the heart of summer, the sky above Versailles explodes with grand fireworks. This spectacle, a celebration of color and light, is a testament to the city's festive spirit. The grandeur of these displays is a sight to behold, a fitting finale to a day spent exploring the city's rich history and cultural treasures. These spectacular displays, set to classical music, transport you to a bygone era, captivating your senses. Versailles, a treasure trove of history from the palace's opulence to the tranquility of its gardens and the allure of the city center, captivates visitors with a sensory experience like no other. Our journey today has taken us from the grandeur of the Palace of Versailles through the harmonious symphony of its expansive gardens to the intimate charm of the Trianon estate. We ventured into the heart of the city itself, relishing the quaint charm of its streets and the authenticity of its cuisine. We've been enchanted by the vibrant life of the musical fountain show and the grandeur of the summer fireworks. Each corner of this majestic city whispers tales of a regal past each path leads us deeper into a world of opulence and grandeur, a world that continues to captivate our senses. 
Join us on this enchanting journey through Versailles, where every step echoes the grandeur of a regal past.